Welcome to Science with Salem and Stevie. Can you wait? <laughs> Today we are, do you want to hold this? We are making salt dough. So we'll start by making our salt dough and then we're actually going to use ours to make a volcano, which we'll let dry and then we'll paint and then we'll do an experiment with the volcano. <laughs> Okay, so first we have our materials. Uh, for salt dough, it's really easy. You just need flour, um, salt, and cold water. So we have all our ingredients ready. Um, we're gonna mix them here in this big bowl. Uh, so we'll start, first we're gonna mix our salt and our flour. So for salt, we need a cup and a half. So here I have my measuring cups. This one says one cup. So I'm gonna fill it all the way to the top and dump it in. Salem's so gonna help me, hopefully. One cup of salt, I guess you can see it pretty well. And then we need one and a half, so now we're gonna fill also a half cup of salt. So this is our half cup, Casey's gonna fill it for us. I'm gonna fill it all the way to the top. Okay, and then dump it in, so that's our one and a half cup salt. Um, now I have, we need three cups of flour, right? Yes. Three cups of flour, yes. <laughs> okay. So with flour, that's one cup, two cups, and that's three, three cups. cups of flour. Okay, so it's really this. <laughs> so we'll have Casey use our spoon. I'm gonna mix it up. Okay, and then we're gonna take, I have one and a half cups of cold water. I already got this ready in our big measuring, measuring cup. So I'm going to pour it in slowly while Casey stirs. Yes, okay. get a little bit more clumpy and stick together so that's how we know it's working. Gonna it looks stir. like cookie dough. It really looks like cookie dough. But it does not taste like yeah. cookie dough. <laughs> you probably don't want to eat it. <laughs> okay <laughs> once it is pretty well mixed together it's getting really hard for Casey to stir it's hurting her arm. We are gonna find a flat hard surface we chose to just uh, reach it. Just a baking sheet. You probably have one of these at home. We're gonna lay it down. We're gonna lay our dough on top, and we're gonna knead it until it's all kind of sticking together how we want it. So if you've ever made bread before, you have to knead it, which is kind of like Casey will show you with her hands. You kind of crunch it together and move it around. <laughs> starting to feel almost like play-doh so it's feeling like we're going to be able to build lots of cool stuff with it. Don't need it Salem. Or Stevie. <laughs> <laughs> Both of our <laughs> assistants can try and eat our experiment. So it's kind of a fun way to get a little bit messy, get your hands dirty, you get to build some stuff, make something, use your imagination. How huh, Salem? So we are going to use our salt dough to make a volcano. So if you would like to make a volcano at home, you'll just need a water bottle because um, we need something to pour our ingredients into when we make our volcano explode. If you don't want to make a volcano, that's totally fine. You can make whatever you want. You could make mountains, you could make a snowman, you could make whatever you want. So we have this piece of it's just kind of like heavy paper that we're going to build it on. Um, you could do cardboard, you could do uh, whatever you have around your house. And we're going to build our volcano around this water bottle. Good job. Oh, don't eat it. No. <laughs> if you can see Salem's face, you can tell it doesn't taste very good. 
I'm gonna get her some more. <laughs> set this out on our counter to dry it'll take a couple days and then we'll see you <laughs> we'll see you in a couple days <laughs> bye, bye. bye. We're back, we painted our volcano, we let it dry, then we painted it. Um, how long do we let ours dry? Two days. It's two or three days, so we just kept feeling it to make sure it was fine. I guess if you want to paint it faster, then you can bake it in the oven, um, but you couldn't have the water bottle inside, so we just let ours dry. And then painted it, waited another day, so now we're ready for the experiment part. Okay, so first we have some dish soap. We're just going to Put in just a couple of drops. <laughs> and then since we're making a volcano, we want our lava to be red. So we have some red food coloring. We're gonna put a couple drops in because we've never done this before. So we're gonna put some in before and after the baking soda. So we'll Next we have to do two tablespoons. So that's our tablespoon of baking soda. So I have a funnel, it's gonna make it easier for us. One tablespoon. I'm gonna let it kind of go down slowly so you can make sure it all gets in there. Please help me. One. <laughs> and two. Okay. And then we want about a half a cup of vinegar. So I'm pouring it into here so we can pour it into our volcano easily. If you're doing this at home and you have any dinosaurs or little animals who might eat, you might want to get covered in lava, you can put them around. We didn't really have anything to use, so we decided not to. Um, okay, so next is we're going <laughs> to slowly pour in the vinegar and watch... It's definitely erupting. Should we turn it? It seems to be coming out that side. And it's red. That's pretty cool. We put our uh, baking sheet underneath it so that we don't make a huge mess on the table. It's cool. Wow. That's <laughs> really cool. So if you're at home, you can see what would happen if you pour the vinegar more quickly or if you pour it in slowly or if you put more baking soda. There's lots of variables you could try. We're gonna do our experiment one more time so that Stevie and Salem can watch this time. You ready? Do you wanna pour it in? Sure. Okay, sure, we have sure. it all set up. We're just doing adding the vinegar. Okay, ready? Watch. Sure. Wow. <laughs> Stevie wants to eat it. Yeah, look. So the volcano <laughs> So the volcano erupts because there's a chemical reaction that happens between the vinegar and the baking soda. That's pretty cool, huh, Salem? Okay guys, thanks for joining us. We hope you enjoyed. Bye. bye. Say bye.